Hey guys, it's Miss Boyd, and we're ready for our next reading. Now, when we left off last night in our book of wonder, we had finished reading about lunch, and Augie was getting getting to a new school and having to sit with new people at lunch, and so far, no one wanted to sit at him. Now, I've never had to be a new student at a new school, but I imagine that that was the worst feeling, just not knowing who to sit with or where to sit. So guys, I know we've had some new students in our school and you all are awesome to make sure that they feel left, that they feel like they're part of the group and all that. And you never make them feel like they're left out. Thanks guys. That's what BIS is all about. And I love that you all always make them feel welcome because we love people. Now, tonight, we're gonna to read about the summer table. And that's on page 51 in your book if you're following along. Now, hey, is this seat taken? I looked up and a girl I'd never saw before was standing across from my table with a lunch tray full of food. She had long wavy brown hair and she wore a brown t-shirt with a purple peace sign on it. Uh, no, I said. She put her lunch tray on the table, plopped her backpack on the floor, and she sat down across from me. She started to eat the mac and cheese on her plate. Ugh, she said after the swallowing the first bite. I should have brought a sandwich like you did. Yeah, I said nodding. My name is Summer, by the way. What's yours? August. Cool, she said. Summer. Another girl came over to the table carrying a tray. Why are you sitting here? Come back to over there table with us. It was too crowded, Summer answered her. You come sit here with us. There's way more room. Now the other girl looked confused for a second, and I realized she had been one of the girls I had caught looking at me just a few minutes earlier. Her hand was cupped over her mouth, whispering. I guess Summer had been one of the girls at that table, too. Never mind, said the girl, leaving. Summer looked at me, shrugged, smiled, and took another bite of her mac and cheese. Hey, our names kind of match, she said as she chewed. I guess she couldn't tell, or she could tell, I didn't know what she meant. Summer? August, she said smiling, her eyes open wide as she waited for me to get it. Oh yeah, I said after a second. We can make this the summer only lunch table, she said. Only kids with summer names can sit here. Let's see, is there anyone here named June or July? Well, there's Maya, I said. Technically, May is spring, Summer answered. But if she wanted to sit here, we could make an exception. She said it as if she'd actually thought the whole thing through. There's Julian. That's like the name Julia, which comes from July. I didn't say anything. And then there's a kid named Reed in my English class, I said. Yeah, I know Reed, but how is Reed a summer name? She asked. I don't know, I shrugged. I just picture like a reed of grass being a summer thing. Oh yeah, okay, she nodded, pulling out her notebook. And Miss Potosa could sit here too. That kind of sounds like the word petal, which I think of as a summer thing too. Petal, Potosa, flowers, huh. I have her for homeroom, I said. I have her for math, she answered, making a face because we all know that reading is the best subject. She started writing the list of names on the second to last page of her notebook. So who else, she said. And by the end of lunch, we had come up with a whole list of names of kids and teachers who could sit at our table if they wanted. Most of the names weren't actually summer names, but they were names that had some kind of connection to summer. I even found a way of making Jack Will's name work by pointing out that you could turn his name into a sentence about summer, like Jack Will go to the beach, which Summer agreed worked just fine. Now, when I think about this Summer, she seems to be going like an easygoing kind of guy or girl. She seems like she just 
goes with the flow. She likes all people. Man, she and Augie could be good friends. But if someone doesn't have a summer name and wants to sit with us, she said very seriously, we'll let them still sit with us if they're nice, okay? Now, would you be able to sit at their table? Do you have a name that has to do with summer? Or are you nice? Because they're still letting nice people sit there too. So, would you be able to? Okay, I nodded, even if it's a winter name. Cool beans, she answered, giving me a thumbs up. Summer looked like her name. She had a tan and her eyes were green like a leaf. Now guys, I'm gonna give a special shout out this evening because I know one little girl was watching from home last night. So Leah Fuller, if you're checking it out again tonight, you are the bomb. So listen guys, if I know, if you'll let me know that you're watching or you've checked out the video, Guys, I'll give you a shout out, and that way I can keep up with who's listening to these videos and who's paying attention. So, guys, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Good night.